The news is not just being reported on here on KCMO, talked about, opined on. It's also being broken on 95.7 FM in Kansas City. And we are happy to welcome on and say good morning to the Attorney General for Missouri. Andrew Bailey joins us with an announcement uh, that you are getting first here on KCMO Talk Radio. Mr. Attorney General, good morning. Uh, What would you like to share with the folks of Missouri this morning? Well, Pete, thank you for having me on and for breaking this important story and covering this. Look, we are launching suit today to finally drive Planned Parenthood from the state of Missouri. This is an unlawful cult of death that is committed to the destruction of human life at the expense of the health and safety of women. Let's look back in time. In 2018, investigation revealed a half decade of violations, including physicians' failure to file reports concerning medical complications, and that the clinic was using a moldy abortion machine on women repeatedly. In 2020, testimony uncovered that physicians were refusing to provide women with the statutorily required risk notification. And in 2024, investigative video revealed that there in Kansas City, agents of Planned Parenthood were conspiring to traffic minors out of state for abortions without parental consent in violation of the law. And I'll tell you what's most disturbing, Pete. The agent of Planned Parenthood in that investigative video was committed to the concealment of the sexual exploitation of young girls. Now is the time to take the fight to the enemy of the health and safety and and the, 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 the promoters of this cult of death and the destruction of human life. That's why we're filing suit. We're going to court and we will hold these wrongdoers accountable. Okay, so you mentioned there Kansas City in particular. Um, What is happening here in Kansas City that you were referring to there when it comes to taking people out of state? In late November of 2023, there was an investigative journalist who filmed an agent of Planned Parenthood at the Planned Parenthood facility there in Kansas City bragging, bragging about how every day, every day, every day, that clinic traffics young girls out of state for abortions without parental consent. This violates state statute. Look, 188023. The clinic is a mandatory reporter, and the the patient that presented themselves in that investigative video said that it was a young 13-year-old girl. Well, a 13-year-old girl can't consent to sexual activity. And so if a 13-year-old girl shows up at this clinic pregnant, their statutory responsibility is to protect that victim of sexual offense. Instead, they were trying to lie, cheat, and steal and get around the parental consent requirement to traffic that minor out of state for an abortion, and they bragged about having done it in the past and doing it in the future. We're not going to let that happen, not on my watch. So how does this this go from here? I mean, we all know how powerful and strong that organization is, the amount of money that is behind them as well. Uh, You file suit to drive them out of Missouri. Has this happened in any state? And assuming the answer is no, what does that next step look like? Well, I propose to fight it out along this line all summer if it takes that. And I'll tell you this. In 2015, a similar investigative video justified the state of Texas ending its partnership uh, and 100 percent defunding Planned Parenthood in the state of Texas. Arkansas followed suit. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has affirmed that termination of those participation agreements. And at the end of the day, that's what we need to do here in Missouri. And that's what we're going to be driving towards. This is not a single lawsuit. This is at the beginning of the end for Planned Parenthood, because, again, this isn't about this is about the investigative video. That's absolutely true. But it's also about a consistent pattern of behavior of Planned Parenthood's willful refusal to comply with state statute. Now, in Missouri, of course, uh, abortion is more or less banned. So is Planned Parenthood probably going to argue we're not giving those services anyway? Uh, therefore, how are you going to drive us out for the things that we do that are legal? How would how would you respond to that? I would respond that everything else they're doing is still illegal because they're not doing it in compliance with state statute. Again, using moldy abortion machines, failing to notify uh, patients of the risks of the procedures they're recommending. And in this instance, when you're trafficking minors out of state, Section 188.027 and 188.028 enumerate the specific requirements that the clinic must follow if they're going to take patients out of state for abortion. So they're not capable of providing safe or ethical health care. They're willing to put the patient safe at safety and health at risk to destroy human life. Andrew Bailey, the Missouri Attorney General on KCMO Talk Radio, uh, just announcing for the first time here on this show that um, they will be, he will be filing suit to drive Planned Parenthood, in his words, out 
of the state of Missouri. So where does where does this begin? Like what what jurisdiction does this begin in? And, uh, you know, how long of a process does this ultimately end up being knowing how slow the crim- the justice system works? Well, we're going to file suit in Boone County today. We have the pl- the petition ready to go. Uh, we have the evidence at our disposal to use in court. We're going to ask for injunctive relief to it, look. I mean, at the end of the day, we know Planned Parenthood is not going to comply with state statute. They are committed and uh, willful refusals to comply with state statute. So taking them to court and getting a court order that we can then use to hold wrongdoers in contempt prevents future violations of the law. But we're also going to get discovery and continue our investigation and look back in time and hold wrongdoers accountable. So, yes, the process is going to take time. But this is this should be the beginning of the end. This should be a, the beginning of a sequence of events to permanently drive the, these wrongdoers from the state of Missouri because of their refusal to ever comply with state statute. How, how does this at all dovetail into the possibility this year that uh, abortion could end up being on the ballot in Missouri come later this uh, this election cycle? Yeah, Pete, I mean, look, that's an important issue. And I'm glad you asked that question, because here's the problem we've got. The initiative petitions being pushed by these out-of-state coastal elites with deep pockets and dark money are intended to turn Missouri into California. And if you don't like what Planned Parenthood did in Kansas City, if you don't like the fact that they're trafficking minors out of state for abortions, if you don't like the fact that they're committed to concealing the sexual exploitation of young girls, then you should hate these initiative petitions because – what those initiative petitions will do, what, what Planned Parenthood has to hide and conceal today and is ashamed of, and that's why we're taking them to court, they will be able to do in broad daylight because it will be legal if these initiative petitions pass. All right. Now, you mentioned, of course, the Kansas City trafficking people out of state. We know that it's uh, much easier in Kansas right now uh, for these abortions. Are you able to use the undercover videos? I believe it was James O'Keefe that had these. Are you able to use those videos in a court of law? Yeah, we believe that the videos are authentic. And look, this, these aren't just like hoax videos. This is investigative journalism. I mean, shame on the legacy media for not covering these things and not covering the fact that Planned Parenthood has this decades-long pattern of refusal to comply with the law. It's like somehow Planned Parenthood is the, the sacred cow of the left and is untouched by the legacy media. We had brave investigative journalists who obtained this evidence, and we believe that it is authentic and justifies this action. The Attorney General for Missouri, Andrew Bailey on KCMO. Mr. Attorney General, thank you for being here. Uh, We appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks, Pete. Same to you. Talk soon. All right. Andrew Bailey on KCMO Talk Radio.